All right, g'day guys. Welcome to Chase the Weekend. Uh, we've got a cool uh, unboxing episode today. We're back together. It's been a while, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. We've been. Uh, this year's been pretty hectic. It has. Uh, but yeah, we're in the uh, in the Chase HQ, yep. aka the shed. In the shed. It's With the windows good. and doors shut, and it's quite warm. You need to put aircon in here. Mate. It's coming. It's coming. I'm, wor I'm working on it. It's one of those. It's the down the track job. Yeah. That one. Turkey, turkey. We've got a given a panel here from All Powers, so they've um, sent us a panel, and we're going to uh, open it up, go through our thoughts and specs. Talk about the specs on there, and then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, get it outside. And get it fired up and then we're going to do some testing on mm. it and see how it goes and let you know and see if it's something that you want to put on your caravan or vehicle. Stick around and we'll find out. Turkey chip chips. Oh yeah, we'll have to bust that in. How are we going to do this? On the table. Oh, we did this. All right, so we'll just open this fella up here. So obviously when you're buying stuff online, um, transport, is a consideration. Um, All Powers have a warehouse in Sydney, which they ship out of. We got this package in, I think it was like three, two days or three days, which is pretty good. Pretty good for shipping. Um, standard box. We'll open it up and we'll have a look at this packaging. So we got, uh, got some nice thick foam there. Which is good, probably not too good for the environment, but so uh, it'll be good for your solar panel. And what we got here, so we've got manual, and we've got some straps there, some, they look like Velcro straps. So we'll show you what they're for in a minute. Right. The dog will love that too, uh, he'll be able to chew that up. Might make a nice little mattress actually. I'll take this. All right. Oopsies. That was some quality television. Right? <laughs> so already, Gaz, I can tell that this is, just by the feel of it, a very well-made panel. So that's a semi-flexible uh, panel, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, semi-flexible. They say you can bend it, I think it's like up to 30 degrees. So you see, guys, obviously, if you've watched the channel, you saw I built a, a little teardrop camper. Um, I've seen a lot of guys with like a full teardrop shape, that rounded shape, put curved um, panels on that. Would this be what they would use or not? Yeah, yeah, this would be the one. Yeah, one one like this. So you could get you could get a fairly decent curve on it. I don't know what degree is that is. Can you see that there on the camera? So yeah, you could, and then just glue it down. Um, these are, these ones here are actually made to strap on with the, yeah. with those and those little straps there, but you can, um, glue it down as well. So with the, with the King's panels, they recommend putting it on a bit of cord flute because what you don't want is to, you want airflow underneath. Yeah, because these, these are going to cook, aren't they? They will get hot and as the panels get hotter, the output will actually decrease. This way. There you go. So you could literally throw it on your roof rack and velcro it down to the rack. Mm. That's pretty cool. These these panels have an ETFE um, polymer on the outside. ETFE is ethyl tetrafluoroethyl. Um, if you can have a look in that, guys. See how, I don't know if we can see it. But see all those little dimples there on the cell, on the top plate? What they're designed to do is actually capture light from different angles and then divert it back to the cell. So the idea of that is that most vans, utes, whatever, they're probably gonna be lying flat. Yeah. So the idea of the, the dimples is to try and get that refract refracted light from all different angles. So early in the morning as the sun comes up, you're gonna be catching it. You're not gonna be, ca not just, you know, during the yeah. peak of the day, it's gonna be early morning, late afternoon, you're still gonna be able to catch it. Yeah. That sun. Yep. I guess then the, I'll try and get my terminology right, but the, the efficiency over the, the whole day, this is going to pull a 
more sunlight in than a standard flat glass yeah, panel. Yeah, potentially it should Ideally perform it better. Should, yeah. yeah. So it should perform better than just a clear panel and also a clear, like a clear glass panel mm. as well. All right, so the cables, we've got MC4s, MC4 type connectors. Pretty generic. Now, one thing that you will need to consider is that you do need to have the same branded MC4 connectors. Um, it's easy enough to get a pair. I did have a look on All Power's site and I couldn't see any plain connectors. So that's pretty sweet. And then we've got about, what's that? Oh, I probably should measure it, eh? I've got a, I've got a tape here. I'll just measure it. All right, so we've got 900 mil ish, about 900 mil for the cable, for the negative and the positive. So that's pretty cool. And you got these little Velcro straps here as well, which is also pretty cool. So you can, uh, if you are using it more of a um, temporary thing i guess you can just roll up your roll up your cables and velcro them together what's the overall i suppose let's get the overall dimensions of that all right so the length is 13.75 millimeters on the dot and width 780 780 millimeters so if you're working out your um your roof space i was just thinking this is probably a good idea because it's it's sort of a semi-fixed panel, but you can remove it if if you uh, if you are in shade where you're camping. Run an extension lead and set it up as a bit of a portable yep. panel, almost came. And it uh, the specs say it weighs four kilos too, so it's not. You could potentially even just hang it off something as well, I mm. guess. And what's that compared style. to, like a standard sort of glass panel? Uh, so 200 watt glass panels probably around 18 to 20 kilos, yeah. depending on how thick the aluminium is yeah. so a lot of vans are really close to that weight limit now yeah these are these would be a good it's idea for save that save you a fair bit of weight there definitely yeah i'm really liking this it just feels really nice i know feeling isn't really anything but it just it just feels nice if ever you want to get on your roof and feel your solar panel this is the one so we'll just roll that over on the back all right, so Gaz, you got the specs we'll have a look there. At the specs. So it's a 200 watt panel. The amperage is um, 6.8, 38.4 volts. So um, you were saying before, we do have to be careful with DC, DC charges, um, just yep. to do with when they click in enough, eh? Hey? Yeah, so a lot of DC, DC charges will have a, cut, a higher voltage of 30 volts. Yeah. So you just got to watch that. Um, make sure that your whatever you're connecting this into can take can that take voltage. That, yeah. So it's a mo the cell material is a mono crystalline silicon, and it's got that ETFE. Yep. Um, as so well. that's pretty standard. That's pretty there, standard one, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So mono crystalline uh, used to be the more expensive type of cell. Yeah. And then they brought out the polycrystalline. So yep. if you ever look at any of the old solar panels and they look blue and they look like they've all got different shapes and stuff in yep. them, that's polycrystalline. Okay. And then mono crystalline is literally just one crystal that they they grow and then they shim it off. Yeah, okay. So it's a 10 bus bar design. Yeah, looking forward to getting this up on the roof and testing it out. So it's IP68 rated as well. So, you know, obviously you want it a high IP rating because it's going to be sitting on top of your van or your hmm. or your vehicle. So I was just looking on there, um, yeah, two year warranty. Uh, so that's actually really good for a flexible panel. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'd be happy with that. So obviously, so the brand of this, this is from All Powers, um, and you can you can get purchase that on their website, can't you? You've got all yep. this stuff on there. So what we've actually got, we do have some discount codes. So if this, if you decide that you want to buy one of these for yourself, you may as well get a discount. So we'll put those in the description where you yep. can get um, some uh, discount on your purchase. Also North America and here in Australia. Um, yeah, we've said the warehouse is located in Sydney, so allow some time for transport, obviously. If you and live down that way, obviously you're gonna get it quicker than up, yep. in, up in Queensland. Yeah, so check them out. So what we'll do, Gaz, is yep. we'll get this out on the test rig. Oh yeah. So I've got a bit of a test rig outside. Oh, nice. 
it said, it's not really, it's just a camper trail, but it's a uh, five degrees flat. Yeah. So I figured that a lot of people will try and angle the panel and perfect tilt angle and try and yeah. get the peak performance out of the panel. Uh, I'm not too worried about the peak performance, but what I'd rather see, and I think what the viewers would rather see is how much power this thing will make in a day and over a week. Just is it gonna run the fridge? Exactly, that's what you're buying it for. Yeah. So that's how we'll test it. And also five degrees is pretty much the angle of what a van or a um, vehicle roof rack would. That's right, yeah. So it's gonna be pretty close to realistic. So I just popped it out on the uh, test bench. Oh look, that, look at that sun coming out. 36 volts. Yeah, five, 5.6 short circuit current amps. So that's that's pretty good. It is lying flat. Oh, I've got that over hanging over it. That probably doesn't help. Yeah, 5.6 amps lying flat, and the sun's off a bit. So happy days. So if you have a look at this, guys, we've just turned it on, and we've got we're pulling 145 watts. Panel's pretty well flat, like I said, five degrees. So pretty good. 10 amps going into the batteries. The batteries were a little bit high to start with because I um, ran them flat. So I just have to get my fridge on and get a bit in with my other solar panel this morning. So they were, it was a little bit in there, so it wasn't fully flat. But yeah, pretty happy with that, 145 watts. Um, on this history here, it actually will show us the Pmax there. So the highest wattage of the day than it gets to, so we'll leave it on for a week. So I've got the fridge on there. I'll get some um, 12 volt lights and a few other things on there. I don't really have a lot of 12 volt appliances to put a big load on it, but realistically in your caravan um, or even your vehicle, you're gonna, be, you're gonna have your fridge and some lights. So we'll re try and replicate that so it matches real world conditions. And then what we'll do is we'll, leave it, we'll let it go for a week and then just have a look at the graph and see how much power it's putting out. Because um, that's what you want, you know, peaks, peaks great, but you really want to see how much power you're going to be getting every day on the average. So we'll do that and uh, back to you in the newsroom. So there you go, that's the, uh, the semi-flexible 200 watt panel from All Powers. Pretty impressive little panel, isn't it? It's come up really good. Yeah. I'm really excited to see how it goes. We're actually going to install this on um, Shano's van yeah. and do a bit more of a long-term test on it and just see how it goes. And also being out in the sun, we're gonna try and get it out in the sun every day yeah. and see how the material holds up over time. Cause that, that is a consideration obviously. Yeah. Cause if you're gonna glue it down. You wanna make sure it's gonna. Yeah. No, um, that, that'll, that'll be good. We'll be able to see longevity wise, long over a long period of time, what it's gonna do, what it's gonna be like. Yep. And, um, Give the information to you, the viewers, so you can make an informed decision as to whether yeah, absolutely. or not to buy such a product. Awesome. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this uh, video was helpful to you, the information product, and um, hope you enjoyed it. If it's your first time, hit subscribe um, so that you can see more content like this in the future. And give us a thumbs up, because we do appreciate it. Help spread it to other viewers. And remember, the weeks are long. But the weekends are short. So chase the weekend. See ya.